Yo, what's going on, amigos? It's your boy CG to the OD. Already know who it be. So, once again, we are back, and uh, we have another fresh whip for y'all to peep. So, before that, I got a little, um, not really an update, but just like a day in the life type of stuff. So, here, as you can see, we got our Viclota, right? We got the fucking Cuddy too, but you know what it is. So, either way, this thing right here, right? So we got our seat set up as you guys had uh, hopefully seen. If not, feel free to go back and check it out. But here in the front, there's a bracket that actually connects the uh, seat itself to the seat mount, right? But my fat ass be out here, you know, grinding hard. So as you can see, this is where it's originally supposed to bolt to. And this is our seat bracket, right? So I had originally repaired this bad boy once. So as you can see, it goes like that. Beefed it up right here, this is where it broke originally. Now, the rest of our metal, as you can see, is really thin. You know, cheap old little bracket. I was gonna make a new one from scratch out of some stainless or something, but um, I was jumping up and down on it like an idiot, you know, and that's what caused that. So, I'm just gonna beef it up some more by welding it again, you know, blah, blah, blah. But beside that, that's not why you're here. Let's get on over to our new 2007 GMC Sierra Crew Cab. As you can tell, it is a classic. Um, it is indeed quite beat. And uh, off the bat, I apologize for this Kakata or Kakata or whatever the heck you want to call that bad boy. But he is really letting us have it right now. Regardless, as you can see, um, decently low. Supposed to be like a 7.5, 12. Which, I mean, the front definitely does look like a good 7 at least. So, I mean, that's legit. The back, on the other hand, I mean, it honestly looks like it's got some forward rake, but that could just be due to the, all the negative camber in the front, giving it that look, right? But uh, we are rocking the HD front, as you can see. Um, just now realized that our fucking lights right here and right here are different. So, you know what I mean? I guess. We got a sunroof, boys, which kind of hard to see, but... The motor is out on that bad boy, and whoever the heck decided to put headliner in it, it's like a crushed velour or whatever you want to call that stuff, like lowrider stuff. I think it might be open. Yeah. So look, we got this kind of material, you know what I mean? Like, so, but as you see, see if it'll focus. Nah, I don't like y'all. But either way, so very hard to see. Um, but there is no like cutout for our sunroof. Like it, it's like as if there's not even a sunroof. It's just there for looks, you know, which makes no sense. Um, our uh, dash, the pillars, like all kinds of stuff is just painted this pink color. You know what I mean? It's got a center console that was shittily painted black. It is what it is though, boys. You know what I mean? Like. I don't know what else to tell y'all. It's it's pink, you know? The whole thing was all done up. This side of the truck looks pretty sick, though. I mean, I'll give it that. It is indeed very slammed. So, I mean, it's on some 24 by 10 dub ballers. Looking pretty gosh darn wicked. Low key. Uh, tinted like a mug. I got these Hoto ass stickers on there. No offense to those guys, but just seen some gay memes lately so either way coming into the rear we got the tank posted it does have tubs doghouse and all this stuff you know kind of shittily in there used to be bagged so this was where the tank and possibly the compressors mounted whatever whatever you know it's all cut out blah 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 um previous owner said that the damn light came out and just busted itself and that he tried to get towed and they did his ass on the bumper. So he did indeed include a new NNBS bumper to replace this one, I guess, but it's not pink. So, yeah, I mean, what are you gonna do, you know? Like everything just, I mean, like, what the, what the is going on, you know what I mean? Like, I just don't know, boys. But I'm gonna go ahead and uh, show you guys underneath the hood as well. Why not, you know? It does indeed have a gauge cluster from an Escalade, so I suppose that's cool. 
Hopefully you guys like that kind of stuff, you know? Got a nice little uh, Boss Audio um, head unit, you know? Got some Apple CarPlay and stuff, pretty decent. Now, there's no hood hinges, as you can see, because like I said, it was bagged. It has been tubbed, so I mean, all this stuff is kind of just sitting wherever the heck they could put it. But it has been tubbed, and supposedly the firewall has also been tubbed, you know? It's all, it's all kind of there. You know, looks like we're rocking some long tubes with some MSD plug wires, so that's cool. We got this little snub nose K and N bastard here, so that's cool. You know, the hood is decently heavy. AC works amazing. Um, here's another view at the tubes here. Hopefully, the camera brightens it up for you, which it didn't. But either way, that's them. You know, not the best condition, but far from the worst um what else do we got oh yeah as you can see we got this hood here which i mean i don't know if it's supposed to be like that or not but there you have that so it is indeed a cowl hood so that's cool like i said whole thing painted pink as hell one random light one not random light i don't know I like the left one better though, to be honest with you, but damn boys, it just looks killer, dude. You can't tell me it don't, you know? Um, this side also looks killer. A little bit of paint rubbage right there from running too big of wheels, and I have no idea how this happened, but what are you going to do, you know? Um, these trucks, they also come with a bunch of holes up here, so somebody took the time to shave that shittily, and yeah. That's it, boys. The actual tailgate and stuff does work, surprisingly. But here you can see where the Bondo is. Let's see if I can get it to focus. But it looks like somebody tried to put something in here and it scraped it and there's Bondo. So that's how that happens. And uh, other than that, I mean, interior-wise, you know, I got my kids' seats in here, you know what I mean? Full-fledged family whip. Just riding like seven and a half, twelve 12 static, boys. And I mean, it's cool, you know, you can't really beat it. I mean, you can, you know, very easily, but for what it is, boys, I mean, I traded my red 07 Sierra Crew Cab that was a two wheel drive lifted on those 26 by 35s, or 26s on 35s, sorry, apologize. But yeah, and supposedly this thing, like I said, it's got the long tubes, it's got the step notch, I mean, as you can see, so I mean, you can see there, kind of, there's a step notch underneath there. It used to be bagged, so as you can see, it's got this mount right here for like a pan hard bar. And then over here, it's got another mount hanging off the bottom of the frame, also for the pan hard bar. So it probably had, you know, like one of those uh, like four link Johns that mounted in the stock leaf location, because it is on leafs again. So I mean, you know, obviously they didn't modify it too much. Um, let me take you up inside of her see what we are sounding like so here's this all right we will shut our ac off as you can see it also has pink ass leds boys um oil pressure through the roof as you know with these trucks obviously it needs an oil change because who the hell would have done it and uh, service airbag, 190K. Um, let me know in the comments down below, 4,900 hours on the engine is a lot for 190K. Either way, I am fairly certain that that is not the original cluster. So it is what it is, you know what I mean? Um, needs a little bit of cleaning up, boys. Like I said, we will do it and get it as clean as we possibly can for what we have. And as you can see, like I said, the whole dash was painted pink. Like everything is pink. I'll whip my phone out so you can see this crushed velour bullshit. So, I mean, you know what I mean? That's what the headliner is looking like. Just looser than all heck too. Or actually it feels like it still has like the stock headliner. Like there's literally no cutout for the sunroof boys. So I have no idea. But all this stuff, like I said, is just pinker than hell. It's really just pink as shit, you know? So hopefully, you guys are a fan if not i apologize but this is what we got so far make sure to like comment and subscribe let me know what you think about the new whip and i'll catch y'all in the next one once we start fixing it later